Here in Austin, and to some of our untold stories of the past, we've seen this happen before. Some of our city's historic buildings and areas, they sit in decay. Now the city is working to put a stop to it. They're looking for volunteers to help them out. Candy Rodriguez is live for us in the newsroom this morning to explain how you can help shape the future of Austin's history. Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, the city's current preservation plan dates back to 1981, 40 years ago, and a lot has changed since then. Population has nearly tripled, and as the city continues to grow, those with the Historic Preservation Office and Historic Landmark Commission want to ensure everyone's story is taken into account. That's why they're looking for around 30 people to help draft a new equitable historic preservation plan. The plan will look at new policies, programs, and tools to help address things such as sustainability ability. Recent community-led efforts have resulted in East Austin's first two historic districts. That includes the Rogers Washington yeah, Holy Cross District. It's just east of I-35 off of MLK Boulevard, dating back to the 50s. It's an area that served as a place for young black professionals to gather, and it includes homes designed by John Chase, the first black graduate from UT's School of Architecture and the first black architect to be licensed in Texas. Just to give you some perspective, Right now, only 12% of historic landmarks and historic districts in Austin represent black or Latino heritage. Those behind this initiative hope the new plan can help expand that. So communities whose heritage has been um, underrepresented in Austin's historic preservation program really should have a seat at the table in helping to craft this new preservation plan. Uh, this is important because, because the preservation plan should represent the heritage of all Austinites. Yeah, and if you are interested in being a part of that conversation to help develop that new historic preservation plan, Monday is the last day to apply. If you would like to learn more about the Rogers Washington Holy Cross Historic District in East Austin, there's a virtual home tour taking place next week. We will have all those details posted on our website at KXAN.com. Guys. All right, Candy Rodriguez for us. This is, um, it's a great idea, and it reminds me of sort of what the state has done with some of its historic sites. I mean, you can go around so many Texas towns and they have those plaques on the buildings yeah. mm -hmm. and you can learn a little bit about it. Yeah, this was going to be virtual, Kristen. So it shouldn't be too bad if you're going outside and learning a little bit about it. Yes.